In one of my previous video, I showed you exactly how to retouch skin in less than two minutes and professionally. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go a little bit further and to show you how we can even improve retouching skin and the face for portrait photographers and commercial retoucher. So if you are in that case, if you take a lot of pictures of people, you know that you need to retouch skin. You need to retouch their faces because otherwise they won't be happy with your work. I can tell you by experience. I started with portrait photography and I've shot thousands of people. So I can undoubtedly tell you that especially women, they are really careful about their skin in the pictures. So if you want to keep it like just like it is when you take the picture without retouching the skin, you will see that they won't be happy with your work or they won't call you back. That's very important. That people who are satisfied with your work just call you back for another work. Okay, that's very important. Or if you know the importance of retouching, you know how much time you have to spend in front of your computer retouching skin. And it's not the funniest part of your work. I guess that you are like everyone, that you are like me, you are like everyone, every other photographers. You prefer spend time taking photos outside than spending time in front of your computer retouching skin. It can also be fun in some way, but if you spend hours retouching skin, Believe me, it's really something that you are fed up with after a certain period of time, believe me. So in the other video, I showed you how to retouch all the blemishes and the wrinkles in the face, how to dodge and burn, and now I will show you how to use the portrait volume so that we can highlight the part of the face we need to highlight and darken the part of the face we need to darken. It's a bit different for dodge and burning, so you will see it in this video, it's very clear. So let me show you right now in my computer. So here we are in Photoshop and I will show you in this video how to go from this photo to this photo. That's amazingly well retouched. So we're going to see that step by step how you can achieve the same results in just a few clicks. So let's delete everything and we're going to start from zero. So when you have this picture, okay, so let's zoom a little bit so that you can see better the result on her face. In the previous video, I showed you exactly how to use the heal plugin from retouch for me, as well as the dodge and burn plugin. So we're going to do that again, because these are the first steps you need to do before going further. So first we will duplicate the layer and we're going to call it heal. So let's go to filter retouch for me heal. Perfect. Make sure that you tick make mask just right here. Here you can see the mask. So let's hide this layer for example. So here you can see all the blemishes and acne that are removed by the plugin. So let's go back and in order to duplicate this layer plus the heel, you will just press shift plus option plus command plus E so, so that it will duplicate all the layers below. So the two layers just right here. And this one we're going to call it dodge and burn. Same thing, we're gonna go on filter, retouch for me, dodge and burn. Very good, let's apply. And here we can see where is applied the effect dodge and burn. We're gonna go here on overlay to have a better effect on her face. And of course you can play here with the opacity in order to have an even more natural effect. So you can be, for example, at 70%. For me it's very good. So you can see the before, after, that's amazing. So we can deactivate, for example, just these two layers and you can see from the original picture what result we can reach with just these two plugins. So before, after. That's very good. But let's go now a little bit further in this video because I already talked about those two plugins in my previous video. So now let's go to the third plugin, which is for me also amazing because it plays with the volumes on our model's face and it helps highlight the part that needs to be highlighted on her face and darken the part that needs to be darkened on her face. So it's like a little bit of makeup, but only with light. So let's see that. Once again, press shift option plus command plus E. And this one, we're going to call it portrait volumes. So let's go to filter and portrait volumes. Boom, let's apply. Same thing, go to overlay. And that's amazing. It's freaking amazing. Same thing here, you can play with the opacity. Let's stay at 60%, for example. All right, very good. So we can see just before the portrait volumes and after. 
You see, it really highlights the parts that needs to be highlighted in her face and just darken the, the part that needs to be darkened on her face. You know, just based on the volumes on her face. That's just amazing, just based on the shape of her face. So now let's zoom a little bit to her eyes. You can see a little bit of vessels just right here. Usually you can see it more, but here in this picture you can't see it that much. That's a good thing, but you can still remove the vessels that you see here uh, in the picture. So same thing, shift plus command plus E, and this one we're gonna call it eyes vessels. Filter eye vessels. So you exactly know how to do it right now. All right, let's apply the effect and you can see here just the before, after. Here you can slightly see it before, after. So in some pictures where you can see more vessels, so some people just have more vessels in their eyes, this effect will be even more noticeable, but it really works. Here, if you still see something that you want to remove, you can use the classic tools of Photoshop, just like the patch tool just right here. You can select the part you want to retouch and just remove it like this, exactly like this. Okay, so you're done just right here, retouching the portrait in just a few clicks. Okay, it could be even faster, but I was talking to you so that I can explain you exactly how it works. But if you do it yourself, you will see that in less than five minutes, you can retouch a portrait like this. Very professional results, that's amazing. So let's see the before and the after. That's just great. So let's see from the beginning and the effect of each plugin. So the first plugin is heal, all right everything all the blemishes gone then dodge and burn then portrait volumes and eye vessels here you go your portrait is retouched so you see it's very easy to do but just one thing to keep in mind you just don't have to overdo it okay just play with the opacity to decrease a little bit of the effect so that it looks even more natural even if you are at a hundred percent it does a great job because it's still uh, very natural you can still see the skin texture and everything like that but it's even better if you can decrease a little bit of the opacity to keep it even more natural so what do you think are you convinced how powerful are these filters are these tools to retouch portraits and how much time you can save by using them so stop wasting your time retouching pictures and just click in the first link in the description to get your 20 percent discount on your purchase just give it a try and tell me in the comments what you think about that. I'm really curious. So if you found this video helpful, give me a like and subscribe to my channel because my goal is to make you become a better photographer and filmmaker in the long term. Thanks for watching this video. I see you in the next one.